Hi, I'm Susanna Styron, the director of Out of My Head. And I'm Jackie Oakes, the producer. When my daughter Emma was 14, she started getting really bad migraines. It was the beginning of a very frightening and confusing time when we didn't really understand what was happening to her or how to get her the help she needed, as I'm sure a lot of you can understand. Susanna told me about Emma, and I remember that my grandmother used to get migraines, and now my sister and my niece get migraines as well. So we looked into it and discovered that migraine is a really very complicated and fascinating neurological disease. And because Susanna and I are both documentary filmmakers, we decided we needed to make this film. In our research, we discovered a lot of interesting things. Like for instance, over 300 million people worldwide get migraine and 75% of them are women. Everybody's migraines are different. Some people have symptoms of stroke and some people can even suffer temporary blindness. We learned that there's a medical diagnosis called Alice in Wonderland syndrome, where people who are getting a migraine have the feeling that they're getting really tall or really small, like Lewis Carroll's Alice. And we discovered that Lewis Carroll, in fact, got migraines himself. Thomas Jefferson drafted the Declaration of Independence in a burst of creativity after a six-week migraine. We also realized how stigmatized migraine is. It's a closeted disease with so many people suffering in fear and isolation. We've been working on this film now for four years. So far, we've raised enough funds from several foundations to shoot great footage in the US and overseas. In the finished film, you're going to see some very moving stories of people living with unpredictable, debilitating, and often chronic pain. And by chronic, we mean 15 days a month or more. That's half a person's life. You'll also see scientific experts doing cutting edge brain research into how migraine works and how to treat it more effectively. We're even documenting the world of migraine art. You wouldn't believe how many writers, artists, and performers there are whose work has been influenced by their migraine experiences. We're committed to getting this film made so that we can educate people about migraine and bring attention to the need for more scientific research. But we need your help. With Kickstarter, it's all or nothing. If we don't make our goal of $92,000 by November 23rd, we won't get any of the funds pledged. We're confident that with your support, we can make that happen. Together, we're going to make an important film about migraine that will raise awareness and inspire action. Thank you for your support. Now here's some more footage from Out of My Head. Sometimes this spot will appear, this like little, like kind of like pixelated shimmering spot will appear and it'll grow. But either way, part of my field of vision will start to disappear. What happened with me is I lost language. Half of my body starts to go numb from my fingertip, goes up and, um, and the world visually shatters. It's like drums going off in your head. It's like as if your brain seems to pulse. It's as if there is thunder lightning inside your head. With the flashes, it's like, you know, you're in a rave party. It's just, you see stars. Sometimes I feel like banging my head on the wall because I want the pain to go. It's the second one he's had in a month. He's nuts. It's like having a red-hot buzzsaw inside my head. <clears throat> At the present time, there is no cure for migraine. The state of funding for headache research in general, but migraine research uh, in particular, is scandalous in its almost complete lack of commitment to the commonest neurologic problem that affects Americans.